Yo, yo guys and dolls, welcome to the channel. Kind of a new one again for the channel. You might notice the things are getting a little bit better every now and again. Because we're not funded, I'm doing all this off my money basically. So I'm trying to get, we're at 17,000 subs now. And trying, trying to push the quality up a little bit. So I've spent a metric F ton of coin making everything great. So I'm currently filming on my phone, which I never do. So it's currently on 4K and I've got that black, black kind of bokeh thing going on. Oh, apologies for the man bun as well. I've got a bad back, so I'm just chilling. But first things first, we're going to look at my the first thing you need. And I've been assured by Sony that what I need was this. When there is no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. This thing, which is a made for vlogging Sony ZV-1. So this is what I've ordered. So it's about 700 quid so that is about i think it's 799 dollars or something um don't know what it is in euro a little bit more expensive than that i think but it's a true 4k built-in lens when the baby is not around i'm shit at cameras so this is it this little tiny guy um which i'll be doing a separate review on but what i'm currently using is this so it's 1080p Nikon DSLR, and I've got this kind of kit lens, 18 to 70, I think it is, 18 to 55 mil, and then I've got this 35 prime lens, um, and that's kind of what I've been using. Um, this is kind of what I've been using for all our videos. So it's 1080p, and um, 30, it doesn't do 60, and it's all right. It's got good, good depth of field and all that stuff, and it kind of looks okay. But we've just got to up the game a little bit, so we're going to go 4K. And that's it, basically. So that's the first thing that I've changed, the camera. So I get a flip-out screen, so it's great for vlogging, is what they're saying. Um, and I can't power it on at the minute because I haven't put the battery in. But we'll have a little look at that in a sec. Um, so everything you see post this thing being demoed will be filmed on this from here on in and you get that nice depth of field and it's gonna look awesome. And I've also bought a brand new Mac, I've bought a brand new graphics card, so I'm really trying to push the channel into the next level. So bear with me for the next couple of weeks while we get through the teething problems and get the channel looking sweet, plush and rad. So in the box you get this tiny little battery this tiny little micro USB to USB 2. It's not even a USB 3 cable. And that is about it. That's what you get in the box. Oh, and this this little, I think it's called a dead mouse or a dead cat or something. And what that does is that fits in the hot shoe. So you get this little hot shoe thing here and that pulls out and then you throw your little dead cat in there and that gives it a boss little head, like a boss little wig which is awesome, and that stops all wind noises and stuff. So if you're vlogging outside like a balloon, you're not gonna hear the wind and all that, all that good gear. Um, battery compartment and an SD card slot is in the same location. Battery is friggin' tiny compared to what I'm used to using with the old Nikon stuff, or Nikon, depending on which way you pronounce it. A lot bigger. This is tiny small, tiny weight, and I'm assuming it's gonna last no time no, it doesn't turn on. Oh, unless I have to physically turn it on. Oh, God, have we got some life? We have. So it's asking me to set it up. I'm going to go English because that's what I am. Enter the date and time, and then it gives you this kind of image edge for you to... Oh, you can't see that. But basically, go here and download apps for the phone. So I'm not going to do that yet. Whee! And then we, we spring to life. So, what? Right, okay, so there it is. Okay, so... Looking pretty good thus far. Um, if I was to turn it around at myself and press that little defocus button, gives it a little bit of that that black kind of bokeh. But a lot of people are saying that the um, the lens is too far. Look, I'm not being funny. That from arm's length is more than good enough. That's that's arm's length. That's great. Saying that the um, it crops with stabilization though, so maybe that will crop a little bit. But that currently 
is easily vloggable. Okay, cool. Absolutely brill, right? And I'm assuming that you just open it up, turn it round, close it, and it should also shut off. There it does, right, okay, excellent job. So that's it, beautiful. And I'll look at some of the options in a sec. Um, but that, once I've figured them out, in fact, come with me, because I'm new to all this gear. So let's see if I can just go for it. Okay, so we've got selective autofocus, 50p, 50m, don't even know what that is. Just say that's HFR settings. Oh, wow. Actually, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I don't quite understand it. Right, so I'm gonna go and have a little feck with this. As a guy who doesn't know anything about cameras, what I've heard is I've got to turn off beauty mode like ASAP, like get rid of beauty mode, because it supposedly makes your face look like something off iRobot. Denser alloy. My father gave it to me. I think he wanted me to kill you. I obviously haven't got that on this particular camera because I'm all liony and horrible. Mode soft skin effect is on. It's on mid. I'm going to take that right off. I'm never going to use that. Product showcase mode, which is meant to be brilliant. So basically you put it up to the thing and it, it kind of snaps into focus and then you pull it away and it's gone and you put it up again and it snaps into focus. My phone seems to be doing a great job of that anyway. And I think that's kind of it. The menus, a lot of people give Sony crap for the menus. This is dead easy. What are you talking about? Okay, so now let's have a look at that. So that's with the steady shot off. It's not gonna focus in on it. That's at arm's length. I know I've got a big arm. I am 6'4". But that is a, that's a nice vlogging range i don't think i'd even want i don't think i'd even need anything beyond that that background defocus looks quite natural it's kind of keeping everything kind of in shot as well i think that'd be even better if it was just kind of focusing a little closer to me yeah uh, that's absolutely perfect for some reason it's in night scene maybe that's because it's quite dark in here i don't know but it looks pretty good so that is easily vloggable arm's length no stress holding it naturally i'm getting quite a good field of view there i wouldn't worry about that right okay guys so that's my initial impressions like the way it turns off and everything let's leave it at that okay so that's the camera kind of dealt with i'm going to talk about the pc next so i have um bought myself a ridiculous mac mini so I've bought the top of the line one, which is the Core i7, with one terabyte internal drive, and I'm rocking a Vega 64 card as an external GPU. But enough about that, we'll look at that in the next one. So that is the Sony that I've just smashed already, the v ZV-1. This little guy to replace this big guy. Little bit of a difference. Everything gonna be in true 4K from here on in. Um, and I hope you like this video. So yeah, I'll, everything else will be filmed on this from here on in. If you want a demonstration of this being used, just watch the next couple of videos because they're all going to be this from now on. Very, very good. Very tactile. It is plastic, but it feels, it's got power to it. It's quite a heavy little unit. Okay, cool. I'm going to put this on charge and start doing some filming with it. Um, thank you very much, Sony. I think you've made a boss little product, and I did do my research. I watched a lot of reviews and demos on this. Everyone seems to be creaming over it at the, at the minute. So, yeah, awesome job. Right, guys, so continue to come back. Everything's going to be in glorious 4K with real bokeh, none of this blag bokeh. And um, next we'll talk about the PC and the graphics card, sound cards I use, and then what software I'm going to be running in the new studio as well. And that's it. So see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.